We're here with actor Alec Farkas, who is starring in Fifty Shades of Musical here off-Broadway in New York City. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about when you first decided you wanted to become an actor? I didn't decide I wanted to be an actor probably until a few years ago. Okay. I grew up performing and my mom actually forced me into dance classes when I was young and I was very against it and then finally once I got on stage and was able to perform I really loved it so she saw that I really liked performing and then from there I was singing in different choruses and choirs and things um, and finally in high school I did the shows and the musicals and I loved it but I never considered it as a career until after I graduated college and someone asked me to audition for a show and once I booked it I was like this would be amazing to do for the rest of my life so since then I've been auditioning and performing and I love it. Are you based uh, in New York originally or did you move here from? I am from Connecticut originally. So, so close enough. So close enough so I would come in for auditions um, once in a while when I had the opportunity to or if I thought a role was good for me, I'd come in and once in a while you get lucky and book something. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out great. What was it like, um, since you're kind of new to the genre, mm -hmm. or you know, new to acting, Yeah. what was it like not getting parts and not getting discouraged from that and to keep going? Yeah, um, it's hard. This entire business is hard and mm -hmm. you hear a lot of stories of people just leaving um, the business and not pursuing it because there's so much rejection and every day you go to auditions and you might think that you do amazing and then you never hear anything and really if it's something you love which I really discovered I do I love it it's kind of what drives you to keep doing it because no matter what even if you end up not getting 50 things that you try for you end up getting one and that one really helps you and kind of makes you it makes that love come back, and I would never give. Well, you got Fifty Shades. I got so. Fifty Shades, so you now got, I'm working, you so it's for 50, great. Yeah, that analogy worked really well. But yeah, it, it's great. So what are some of the other projects that you've been in? Um, my first professional show that I auditioned for was Hairspray at Westchester Broadway Theater, and mm -hmm. I didn't get it. But uh, two weeks after I auditioned, I got an email from the assistant director asking me to be in Legally Blonde at Westchester Broadway Theater, and which was a show that I thought would have been, would have been really fun to do. So mm -hmm. I did it, and I loved it, and I loved everyone I worked with. And right after that, um, that same director was working on another show at Westchester Broadway Theater called George M. So I took that opportunity because it was, again, a great theater to work for, and it kind of that was a tap show so I got to show off a few other abilities that I have mm -hmm. and then after that I auditioned for many other things and it uh, for a few months I wasn't hearing anything but then I auditioned for the Adams Family tour and I didn't get that but then they called me to come in for the Spamalot tour instead so actually every job I've gotten or I got after not getting and then yeah not That's getting crazy. something in the beginning so um, it's something to learn that I've learned if you go in for something you might not be right for that role or they might not like you for that show but you can always be considered for something else and that's how I got the first three jobs of my professional acting career was I was just considered from another show or another audition so then I was on the Spamlet, Spamlot tour at the beginning of the year mm -hmm. um, and then I took a little quick break because it was a long a long time away from home so I got to go back home and just yeah. enjoy time with my friends and family um, and then I started auditioning again and I got Fifty Shades and I'm here now. <laughs> and, <laughs> talk a little bit about the show and you know your role. The in show it. yeah uh, the show is crazy but it's hysterical it's when people ask me can you explain the show I don't even know exactly what to tell them mm -hmm. I'm just like you need to come and see it for yourself because if you're not a fan of the book, if you are a fan of the book, if you've never read the book, if you just like comedy in general, if you really want a fun night out, come and see it because it, the show is for everybody. There's um, nine characters in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them you'll recognize from the book. We have three book club ladies who um, the audience can recognize with because they're just being introduced to the book and you kind of follow their journey as they read. and. 
the journey of Christian and Anna and all the other characters in the show. Um, but it's a parody, so there's a lot of funny parts, and mm -hmm. uh, we make references to some interesting parts in the book. I don't want to give too much away. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I am 100% sure that people are going to laugh all night. People have been leaving here just saying that they could not stop cracking up. They were hurting. I had pe a woman come up to me the other day saying she was in pain because she was laughing so hard. Um, it's a show that you would definitely enjoy, and it's a ton of fun to be in. Now, what advice would you give to people who are just starting out? I know you're relatively new as well. Yeah. But, you know, you can still offer advice. Uh, definitely. From your journey. Exactly. Um, I mean, I, I always loved performing, and I was dancing since I was six. And I was, perf I was performing in shows. I just never really understood that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um advice I would give is to one not let rejection get to you because there is so much rejection in this business and even from people around you there's jealousy and people will say mean things about you mm -hmm. but as long as you're confident in yourself and you know you love to do this and you know this is what you want to do that's all that matters and put in the work that you need to put in to get where you want to be um, there's so many different avenues in performing. There's, I know tons of friends that are just dancing and they're in dance companies. I know people that are in musicals. I know people that do straight acting and some people that do TV acting and some people that do choirs and some people that just sing on stage. Like there's so many different things you can do and finding what you're good at and finding out, out what you love. I can guarantee that as long as you have put in the hard work and you have that drive that something good will come from it. Um, and speaking of hard work, you're obviously in excellent shape. Is yeah. that something you had to do for the show? Or um, were you that... already in, in pretty decent shape and that's why you were cast as well? Yeah, <laughs> well, I think that's actually who part of it. Uh, <laughs> um, I think like three years ago, I just randomly, I got bored and decided, why not go to the gym? I'm just sitting around doing nothing. So I went to the gym with my friends just because it was something to do over the summer and I had an internship where I was working one day a week so I had nothing. Um, so I was going and then I kind of got into a groove where that's what, when, that's really what I liked doing. Mm -hmm. And I was still in school at the time so if I had extra time where I wasn't doing anything why not do something productive and go to the gym instead of just sitting around and twiddling my thumbs because that's what I was doing before. Uh, and then once you get into a routine at the gym, you kind of, it's kind of hard to give it up because mm -hmm. then you kind of feel sluggish. That's what I kind of found out. Um, so since then, I've just been working out and I've been getting good attention because now I'm casting this and yeah. I know that uh, probably didn't hurt me in the audition process. I guess I need, <laughs> I guess I need to find your boredom and go to the gym. <laughs> I mean, if it's, that's all it took. Yeah, right. it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to definitely get in the groove of it and I know exactly what people are talking about because I did try to go to the gym like in high school. I tried going at the beginning of college. It's finally something clicked and I really just love doing it. And I think it's just because when I have a day of absolutely nothing, if mm -hmm. I could say I went to the gym, at least I did one thing that was productive. <laughs> yeah. And that's what it was that summer. And now it's like, if I don't go in two days, I freak out and then I can't. It's a, a, a sad addiction, I guess. <laughs> but Do you have one um, of your three uh, abilities that you find easier to perform, singing, dancing, yeah. or acting? I'd say dancing is what I'm probably most confident with just because I've been doing it since I was so young. Mm -hmm. And um, I started dancing like an hour a week doing a little tap number. And uh, we'd have a recital at the end of the year. And then finally I got scooped up when I was 10 when I went to a, I went to a summer camp where they did a lot of dancing and acting. And I got scooped up and then I started competing, um, which was great. And it helps expand my knowledge of all different types of dance so now when I go into an audition if they're like it's ballet I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. if it's tap I know what I'm doing if it's hip-hop I know what I'm doing um, so that always makes me a little more confident when you have to start with the dancing but I do even just being in musicals mm -hmm. has helped me in my acting and singing as well and I've become way more confident in both of those which are two things that I wasn't so familiar with growing up 
And one final question relates back to the show. Has anything happened any night in the audience that you were totally shocked at? Or I'm sure there's a lot of hooting and hollering. Yeah. But is that has anything specifically happened to you? Um, to me, not so much. It we did because we just started, so we've been getting some very interesting reactions. But um, I think it was like three or four days ago, it was a woman's 50th birthday party. And her and her friends were having the best time of their lives here. And we had people in the front. We, um, after the show, we t got to talk to them and they made friends with everyone around them. And we were watching them on stage, like give each other high fives, uh -huh. screaming at us. They're like, woo woo, yeah. <laughs> they were going insane, which was amazing. And we loved it. And backstage we were like, yes, this audience is amazing. And then after we took pictures with them, and we're hoping that we get audiences like that more. So cool. definitely bring your friends because it's an event that I think everyone would love. Well, I'll be here tonight. So is there something oh, you want me to do great. to you on stage while just, you're out there tonight? Just enjoy it and scream <laughs> and love it because I think you're going to have a great time. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Alec. No I wish problem. you Thank further you. success in the future, obviously. And I'm glad you're enjoying your run on the show. Thank you very much.